All right, so here's the 1445's new radiator, part number TCA14645. Um, all 600, and I think through my dealer, it was $626 plus uh, two of the foam gaskets of the three that I ordered. I don't need a lower foam gasket, um, but two of the foam gaskets, uh, TCU18098 and TCU18099. Uh, those are the foam gaskets that go on the hood um, or go on the outside of the radiator to make sure that no uh, dust and debris gets around them or deb large debris gets around the um, outside of the, the uh, screens on the engine so it doesn't clog up the radiator. So uh, yeah, uh, this should be actually pretty simple process. Uh, the technical manual, the radiator uh, swap out, it takes up a page and a half of, of the technical manual and then basically it's just loosening some hoses and uh, undoing some bolts and popping it out and popping the new one in. I think probably the hardest part is going to be draining all of the coolant and trying not to make a mess um, with the coolant. So uh, this should be, um, I'll, I'll put this beginning of a video, uh, I'll probably, it'll probably be a week. Uh, I'll take this video and it'll probably be a week before I actually get around to the project. But um, yeah, so this should be relatively easy. All total, this repair um, with the new foam gaskets, tax, tag, title, fees, everything is right at $752. So um, not a cheap repair. Uh, and I may take the old radiator and see if I can have it fixed and I'll just keep it for spare. Um, not that I ever intend to or hope I have to replace a radiator again. But um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes from there. So on to the next part of the video. All right, so sadly, I did not get any video of this project as I was doing it. Um, I mentioned several weeks ago that the 1445 needed a new radiator. Um, and at the beginning of this video, I will put where I picked up the radiator and all of the new um, foam, which I did not need. Uh, but basically, this radiator is now replaced. Um, and actually, that should say 9 of 2018. Uh, so it basically what I did is I drained, I cleaned out a container, put the coolant in the container, um, cause there's only like two and a half gallons of coolant in this thing. And, uh, no, there's not even two and a half gallons. And so drained it all out. Um, probably the, the biggest pain of the whole thing was actually getting this metal piece off right here. Uh, but we had the old radiator out and the new radiator in, uh, in less than an hour and a half. Uh, from complete start to finish and that included looking around for some tools and having to heat up a couple of the bolts to get them out um, down on the bottom uh, behind that foam right there. Uh, what we were able to do with the foam is I've still got $75 worth of foam now that I'm not going to use, um, at least right now, that uh, all the water collects at the bottom of the foam and those screws that are, or bolts that are down there kind of rust out. Um, but we ended up just taking some Elmer's spray adhesive and sprayed it on there. And I mean, it's nice and stuck. So it's a nice air barrier there. Um, you know, got inspected the fan while we're in there, did a couple other things, uh, just general inspection. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was one of those quick in and out projects. Uh, you definitely, two people to replace the radiator definitely helps. Um, and so now we'll go look at the old radiator and see if there's anything to be done there. So here's the radiator that came out of there. You can tell where it was leaking along the top there. Um, see if I can zoom in and get it to focus. So it was leaking right there along the top. Um, sorry about my big fat finger there. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna keep it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can find a local radiator shop that will resolder that top. Maybe it can be saved. If it can be saved, I'll either you know keep it for a spare or um, or sell it. One of the two. See how much it costs to to repair it. If it does, if it costs too much to repair it, then I'll just chunk it out the door with the rest of the scrap. Um, so I think that's that's uh, that catches the 1445 up on pretty much all the maintenance. Um, 
I don't think uh, there's much else. The only other thing is I've got to fix a hydraulic leak. Um, there's a T in there, and I think the last time I washed it, I caught it with the wand of the pressure washer, and I pulled the I pulled it out a little bit, and so it drips. Um, it's kind of aggravating. It's really really hard to get to. Um, so it's probably going to take me <clears throat> a couple afternoons to do it. So once the grass starts growing, I'll go ahead and, um, and you can see kind of in there when it's, where it's dripping on the floor. It's very aggravating. Um, so I'll go ahead and get to that uh, here once the grass quits mowing um, and we will go from there. But yeah, 1445 with almost, uh, well, 20, 2,278, 79 hours on it now. And uh, just chugging right along, um, you know, the, I really like it, I, although I think I'm going to, um, next spring, I'm going to see if I can't upgrade to uh, a 1565 or one of the newer front mounts, I don't know. I really like this machine, but I would really like a air-conditioned cab, only from the standpoint of my allergies. Um, in the spring and in the fall. So anyway, that's it for uh, this video. Not really all that informative, but you know, it is what it is. Um, radiators replaced and that's what counts. Thanks for watching.